What's up y'all, Alistair back here today for another video and today we've got the rods and reels back here. We're doing the uh, 2020 rod and reel setup. Uh, one of you guys commented it in the description and asked for it so I don't have anything else to do. I just finished school. I'm going to get a bunch of videos out to you guys before I go to the lake this weekend and then go to Lake, uh, lake, lake Cumberland this weekend, then the Ozarks next weekend or for a whole week and uh, yeah so we're going to have a ton of content coming out to you guys soon and I'm super stoked, but right now I'm just getting out videos so I can fill in all that time and don't have to edit and can just film. So uh, it's actually like the weather just got horrible out. It's been horrible out. That's why I missed the upload a couple days ago. But here I'll show you guys the weather. It's just 45 degrees right now. It's like one o'clock. It's been like 60 and 70 recently. So this is why I'm doing this. I want to show you guys my rod and reels. They aren't the best. I'm just. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you guys are curious, and they get the job done, obviously. So, you guys stay tuned. I'm going to go through them, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. What the heck is this? Got to get you guys real quick. All right, so I'm just gonna go from here all the way over. And uh, yeah, so starting out with this one, I'm getting in this chair and we're doing it. All right, y'all, so this is my first one. Um, a lot of these bass rods that I bought, I bought used, but here's the Black Max. Oh, that's a, I've ever seen a Black Max paired with the uh, Ugly Stick Elite combo, the freaking super heavy rod. Uh, I mean, I've, I've ever tied onto it. I obviously don't use it that much, but Look how freaking stiff that is. I bought a lot of them used before I even really got into bass fishing, so that wasn't the smartest thing to do, but I mean, this is a good frogging rod probably if I was fishing super thick stuff, but it is 6.6 and I don't really like that. And this stock is pretty bad, but I mean, got a Black Max on here with the uh, Ugly Stick Elite. I don't really have anything to say about this just because I don't really use it too much. It's literally why I have and I have bobber tied onto it. So let's go to the next one. All right, y'all. This one is my freaking baby. We got the uh, Favorite Rods USA Defender paired with the Shimano Stratic CI4. I got the 3000 version of this reel. I've done reviews on it, I've done everything on this. But this is probably my most favorite setup, especially for spinning. And uh, yeah, the thing is, there's featherweight. I use it for everything. I use it for carp, catfish, everything I want to use it for. Um, I guess a job done and it's lasted me about four years now and with what I do that's pretty freaking crazy that a rod has lasted me four years without breaking a tip or anything so big shout out to favorite and Shimano for that and yeah I really like this rod and real here is my finesse setup um I have the Abby Garcia Pro Max reel paired with a uh Wright and McGill rod I bought this rod to go with an ugly stick reel baitcaster setup that I got for $10 from a friend just to get into fishing with baitcasters but I ended up really liking this rod anyway I mean it was like 60 bucks I think maybe I'm not too sure and uh, the reel I bought with another Black Max for like super cheap um, like I said I bought them all used and they work fine still but here's this um, I really like this rod actually I've caught some pretty big fish on it in Florida and stuff and uh, I use it for my finesse stuff, my worms, my drop shots, my Texas rigs, all that. And yeah, I really like this rod actually. I've got like 12 pound braid on it and it seems to do do the trick. This reel is a little iffy for me though. I'm not too sure how much I like this reel. It's the Pro Max, um, but I'm not too sure how much I like it. Gets the job done though, and that's all I can ask for. Not too crazy on that really. Here is my Shimano NASCI, which this reel is freaking awesome. I love this reel. It's one of the most smooth reels I've ever had. Uh, it's probably more smooth than that one, and that one's like double the price, but um, I love this reel, uh, but I need to get another rod for it because I can't really use it with this. I've really just been using it with as an all-around rod, so carp, catfish, but it's got 20-pound mono on it, which I hate. I need to put fluoro or something on it. So I can start using it for bass and I hate this ugly stick rod on it for the tip. It's just so freaking 
twitchy and stuff and it's just not a good bass rod but I might pair it with this other rod I found in a freaking pond I don't know but here that is I mean can't ask for anything else with this either I've caught a ton of fish on it and yeah I really like this one but I really want to get a different um, rod for it and a different line I don't even got to get up anymore here is another one of my top two rods that I use, this one and the Fader Rods Defender. Here, I just, I get, this is my freaking heavy bait rod, jigs, chatter baits, um, swim baits, everything that requires spinner baits, everything that's pretty heavy, over like 3 8 ounce, uh, I use this for. So, um, I've got 20 pound mono on it, which is pretty heavy. And then I've just got my favorite rod, is USA Whitebird, and it is my Lou's Speed Spool LFS. And I bought this rod and reel a long time ago. Never done me bad. Uh, I like it a lot. It's, they both have been through freaking crap. I actually broke the rod tip off of this. Sent it, sent favor to email, and they sent me a new rod tip, so that was nice. And uh, yeah, so my rod's just been, I mean, I love this rod. I use it like literally every day and it just done fine. This is a $60 rod too. I mean, you don't really need money or a ton of money to put into a rod in my opinion. Unless you're fishing tournaments and all that, but I don't do that. Um, another thing is, is if you guys ever break any of your rod tips and you're buying straight from the company, definitely email them and they'll send you in a new rod tip most likely. I know Favorite did and it was in within a day. So if you guys ever do that, don't break your rod tip off I know people who have just broke their rod tip right off just to uh, just to mess with it, but yeah. And here's my first spinning reel ever paired with a rod that I found in a pond. I might put this rod on that other reel that I didn't like the rod on, the ugly stick one. But uh, yeah, I caught a ton of fish on this reel. It's really just breaking apart right now. It's the Abra Garcia Cardinal SX30. So it is really old. They don't even make them anymore, I don't think. Well, they make newer models, but not these models. And then I've got the Abu Garcia Vendetta rod on it. It was covered, caked in mud, and I cleaned it all up. And it actually looks pretty decent now, so I'll give you guys a look at this. I have yet to use this, so you guys tell me if you want to see it in a video, me trying to fish with this rod. I found it in a pond in a video. I'll probably link that. It was from catfishing a long time ago. And uh, I actually just cleaned up the reel to that too, but the reel's in pretty bad shape. And yeah, that's basically it guys. So that is my rod and reel setups for 2020 and really the past like five years, but and for the next five years, I'm sure I'll add a ton to that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know how much I like making these videos. I mean, they're different, but uh, I don't know how much you guys like them either, so make sure to let me know how much you guys like these videos, like rod and reel setups, uh, rod reviews, all that stuff, tips and tricks, whatever. Drop it in the comments what you want to see next. Tell me if you like these videos, and uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a short one. I know it was a different type of video, but I mean, it's getting content out to you guys, and I'm getting ready for... Uh, some big trips coming soon school just got out again and yeah so if you guys have anything to say about these rods and reels or any questions about them let me know too uh, i'm completely open to answering them all just drop a comment in the comment section and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one outsider out peace